Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Sold with Updike Pew. I'm Jeff Updike. And I'm Weston Pugh, and this is our 30th episode. 30! Hard to believe. Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. It feels like we've got another job with this show, but it's a good job. But uh, we hope that you all find it as interesting. Um, it takes us probably about 15 hours a week just to get this thing set up. Yeah. Um, and, and it seems to have a lot of legs. We really appreciate everybody's comments. And thanks so much for, um, we've got almost 3,000 viewers. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate that. We'd love to get to 5,000. And hopefully um, sometime in the near few months, we can get to that. Yep. So without further so ado. Keep sharing, keep <laughs> favoriting, keep yes. liking it. Just keep doing those. Share, like, share, like. <laughs> we love those things. So. Yep. Um, we want to start off today, and we're going to talk about one of our listings that we just bought on, and it's um, 4777 Cedar Springs, number 5L. Yep. And this was one of the ones that is the sister uh, property to the one that we brought on last week. Yes, that is correct. And it's yeah. almost, well, it's actually the same building mm -hmm. in the same com mm -hmm. in the other complex, mm -hmm. almost in the exact same position. Yeah. Um, this one is, uh, Jeff and I actually sold out this complex um, right after the um, 2009 and 10. And this is one of those complexes that is really located in an up-and-coming area. It's right against Perry Heights, right against Oak Lawn Heights. Mm -hmm. You have great access back and forth, whether you need to get over to 75 or you want to get on the toll road. This is a really great um, property. Uh, one of the other things that we're seeing is that with Tremel Crow coming up and down Maple Springs, they've really changed the direction that that street is going. Mm -hmm. And so... This is just one of those infill products that has really taken off over there. Yeah, this is a, a development that was done by the Dondi Corporation back in the 80s, and they built it right on the edge of Cedar Springs. Mm -hmm. And that what you're seeing here uh, is as it flows down, um, you actually are at the original Cedar Springs where, you know, the, the entire center of that area began. Uh, the One of the cool things about this community is, is it is – on uh, five acres of land. It's got about a two and a half acre park right. that belongs just to the residents here. And it is uh, immaculately maintained by the Homeowners Association. There are all kinds of wildlife down there. Um, we've had the fortune of off offsting out of the, uh, clubhouse. Uh, the clubhouse here for many years while we were selling the development out. And it was, it's such a serene environment and everyone that that bought and moved in there really enjoyed that part of it. Yep. And this building that we're actually going to be talking about, 5L, this is actually um, at the front towards the ga entry gate. Mm -hmm. um, the interesting thing about the way that they've configured this is that because it has on, it is on so many acres, is that there's plenty of guest parking. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times in Oaklawn and Uptown, we really struggle with having enough parking. And you can see right there all the little lines that are close to the buildings. Those are parking spots that are almost always available. Yeah. And right there you can see just how large the park is as well. And it's great. If you're a pet owner, whether it's a small dog or a little dog, I guarantee you, you're going to make friends and your dog is going to be so much happier because it's almost like having your own dog park. It really is. And there's two, there's two accesses down to that, uh, uh, down to the, the, uh, park itself, park itself. And, uh, you know, lots of room to, to throw balls. And I mean, it really is like having a dog park of your own. Yep. So. And this is a two bedroom, one and a half bath, and it's two car parking spaces, 918 square feet. And again, this entire complex was constructed in 1983. Um, the parking is situated so that you actually park into the building. And these are two parking spaces. Mm -hmm. So it's 522 and 520 that you have at your use. Um, inside of the house, it's a really easy floor plan to live in. Um, go up to the second floor, and this is a great configuration in the fact that there's no one else that walks past your door to get to their front door. Mm -hmm. So it's really like having a balcony at your front door because of how it's um, orchestrated. Mm -hmm. Lots of extra space inside. They've done a great job of maintaining and actually updating with solid wood floors throughout. They have travertine floors, and it just is a great way to have space and light in one of these condos. Mm -hmm. Because it is an in-unit, you get a little more light um, from the extra windows, and then also you have the balcony off of the living room right there that allows in great natural light. So you don't ever feel claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. Kitchen is great. Love the kitchen on this one. Yeah, very much so. The The community next door to this is not quite as high as the living area uh, of this. And so you don't get, I mean, you've got really great southern light uh, there. And, you know, and really most of the time, I think most of the time that buildings are, are facing to the south or have windows to the south, that's where you're going to get your best light. Mm -hmm. And um, the, you know, the, the fixtures have all been updated in this. The... Uh, 
uh, the just the the ease of use. It's very easy to lay these units out. They do have wood burning fireplaces. Yep. They have. Uh, not only the front little balcony, but it's also got the uh, a balcony off the living area. And this also has outdoor storage. Yeah, that's true. And one of the things that not everybody thinks about when you're shopping for condos is what's the configuration for the washer and dryer. And this is really one of the great ones in it, that it has a full-size washer and dryer. So a lot of times they'll have the stock stackable smaller ones that are more for apartments, mm -hmm. but this will be the full size that are side by side that'll actually fit. You do have a half bath downstairs, so no one that's visiting has to go upstairs to the upstairs bathroom. Bedrooms are decent size, mm -hmm. and again, all finished outs within the um, bathroom have been updated. It's a great complex, great building, mm -hmm. and great location of this unit in the building in the complex. Yep. Um, this one is going to come in at 189, which brings us in at 205.88 a square foot. Yep, and great value for that neighborhood. Um, it is uh, urban living, great walkability. HOAs are an affordable 316 a month, which is really right in range with where they should be on a uh, unit that size. And uh, we, if you'd like to see this home, please give us a call. We'd love to show it to you. Um, great financing available on this complex. Yeah. So just uh, let us know if you'd like to see it. Absolutely. So the next one that we're going to jump over to is going to be 9832 Angora Street. Mm -hmm. And this is actually Casa Linda Estates. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because one of the first houses that I ever sold was on Redondo, which is just around the corner from this. Whole different story. John David, I remember you, my friend. <laughs> um, this is a great little area because it just sits to the west of White Rock Lake. One of the great things about this location is that you're able to get in and out if you wanted to use 78. If you wanted to use 12 and Buckner, you can go a little bit further north. So you're not pigeonholed to have to use all the side streets to get in and out. White Rock Lake has really had a bunch of um, work done. So the trails are really great. Um, Santa Fe Trail is around this area that can also get you a little further south into downtown. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's a lot to do on this side of town, and we don't want to take away from the other sides, but this one is really where we've seen a lot more aggregation mm -hmm. of outdoor activity, and Casa Linda is at the heart of this. Yeah, I would agree, and there is a, a you know a great shopping center right there mm -hmm. uh, that has uh, all kinds of restaurants in it that have opened in the last several years. You know, one of the long-term restaurants that has been there is the Highland Park Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> and it is like stepping back into time going yep. in there. Food is fantastic. The service you receive is great. Um, but it is, there's nothing like walking in and they're playing hymns on the, the piano in the middle of the dining room. It's so. true. And if you want great donuts, Hypnotic Donut is just on Garland Road. Mm -hmm. Torchy's Taco is in the same shopping center that you're talking mm -hmm. about. And Sprouts is a grocery store in and around that area. Yep. If you need Home Depot, it's just around the corner as well. And there's lots of extra little local places up and down Garland. So mm -hmm. this area is really coming to life and seeing the benefit of a lot of the infrastructure that yep. we're getting on that side. So this house is a three bedroom, two bath. It's it's about 1,900 square feet, built in 1948, uh, very traditional kind of post-war brick style there, and um, uh, has been beautifully maintained, has uh, uh, some really great hardwood floors mm -hmm. as you walk in, uh, sits way back on the lot, as you yep. can see from this photo, and just has a really, uh, uh, you know, the, the home itself kind of has a a presence on that street because well all of them do because yeah. of how they're situated on the on those big lots and this is one of those lots and is 0.3 of an acre and that really does allow for a lot to happen in the backyard um, the other thing too in this neighborhood we're seeing a lot of houses that are a being flipped and also just the whole maintain mm -hmm. of these they're very unique really great homes in this area this one does not disappoint mm -hmm. uh, this right here is a view of what we the uh, kitchen right here and this kitchen actually has a lot of windows in the eat on area that allow you to overlook the backyard um, and then again everybody wants to have a window over the sink and this mm -hmm. one does have that yeah so there's great appliances as well it's a three bedroom and the master is at the back of the house uh, uh, it, or at the front of the, the house. master's at the front of the house. Front of the yeah. house, that's right. And the yeah. two bedrooms are at the back of the house. Yeah. One of the unique features that this house has is that the actual molding is designed so that it sits just a hair from the ceiling mm -hmm. and allows you to actually click in and suspend your pictures rather than drill nails in. And mm -hmm. It allows you to move things around, kind of like a gallery. Yeah. So if you're really into that type of thing, as you can tell this homeowner is, it really makes a difference in the home. And the, the mirrored wall uh, right there that you're looking at in what could be, uh, they're using it as a, mu a music room, it could be music room, playroom, dining room. Uh, the mirrored wall really gives you uh, a feeling that 
the home is just a lot larger than it than it really is. Yep. And this again, we go back to it again and again. No stairs is a big deal right now. Mm -hmm. um, plenty of outdoor space, whether it's you wanted to put a pool in or you wanted to do some gardening, this actually is the house for you. Mm -hmm. One of the great things about one of the bedrooms at the back of the house is it actually opens up to the backyard. Mm -hmm. So on the right hand of that picture, you can see a little handle and the key in the lock. That one takes you outside. So again, hardwood floors throughout really well taken care of home. It would not surprise me if this thing is not already in the contract. Yep. Great home. And this is priced at 445,000. Uh, that brings it in about $235 a square foot. Uh, we want to say thank you to Kim Lee Henderson for letting us talk about her home today. Yep. And so the next house that we have, this is going to be one of the, one, one of the amazing ones. It's 80 Vanguard way. Mm -hmm. And 80 Vanguard way is quite a neighborhood. It is. This is a, uh, the urban reserve development that mm -hmm. was started 15 years ago, I believe, yeah. and uh, it has been one of uh, one of those neighborhoods that really stands out because it is uh, it is a, d a designed neighborhood that really is like nothing else that is immediately around it. No, nope. I mean this is you know the neighborhood itself is Lake Highlands, which is 19 you know 50s construction and 60s construction, and this was a a, a niche of the neighborhood that nothing had ever been built on. A developer bought it, uh, platted the neighborhood out, uh, put homeowners restrictions in place that only uh, this contemporary modern style product could be built in there. And they've done a really good job in maintaining the uh, continuity of the neighborhood, the quality of the neighborhood, um, the, the just the beautiful part of it. And this neighborhood is one of those ones that is it, the influence of this neighborhood has actually affected the neighborhood that's directly behind it. Mm -hmm. And so um, builders that didn't want to actually be inside of this street, wanted a little more flexibility, actually have been building on the street behind mm -hmm. and a little bit further out. So we're seeing a lot of people focus on the area. 80 Vanguard Way is actually at the end of the street. And the great thing about 80 Vanguard Way is that it actually abuts a the back of a park. And then across is um, property owned by a golf course mm -hmm. with the creek that runs through it mm -hmm. and the trail that actually is part mm -hmm. of that emerald ring that ties all the way back into White Rock Lake. Right. So you get in this portion, and this right here on the left hand of this image actually shows you the back side of the park. This is the back of the house. And so you can see that you're going to have this buffer. And it is, it is one of those one of a kind things when we say location, location, location. Mm -hmm. This really is an example of that and a great example at that. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things that this home is, is it is again, super modern. Um, this architect has actually built five homes in the neighborhood. Uh, and this is their personal house that they have right now. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath. It comes in at 3,568 square feet and was built in 2015. One of the things that we really love about this house is how they've really taken attention to each one of the floors. And so each of the floor has kind of like its, uh, its vibe. The first floor actually has a large kind of like secondary living room. Well, let's just go by the picture. So this is actually the main living area on the second floor. And you can see that it opens up to the actual kitchen. And it looks like that what we're looking at is a window through that, but that is actually a mirror. Hmm. So it's really interesting with floating uh, shelves right there. This is actually reclaimed hardwood floors, and I believe it was in East Texas, and they have been um, stained with this white finish, and they really are amazing. They go throughout the entire home. This is also where the second floor is also where you have the master bedroom as well. Um, some of the other pictures as he runs through them, uh, we'll take a look. Master is on the second floor, and then we can also see some of the photos. This is a good example of the master that actually has a balcony off of it. Uh, lots of great light. Uh, good insulation as well so you're able to actually enjoy the light with actually pulling too many shades I believe they have them set up like that just so that they get a little more sleep mm -hmm. uh, on the second or the third floor you're gonna have um, what is a wrapping room bedroom two and three and then you'll also have what could be um, a living room up there that has its own balcony mm -hmm. and this one has been configured so that if you wanted to go back in and put extra features like closet maybe half bath it is such a set up that way so that you can get um, another bedroom, make it a five bedroom. On the first floor, one of the great things about this one is that you have a living room that opens up with barn doors off of the front door and allows you to have both a, it was a sink, a dishwasher. A refrigerator. And, yep, mm -hmm. that's right. 
And so these are all great that actually open up to the outdoor area. And the outdoor area was amazing. It really is. And um, the outdoor area is, I mean, it's really everything that you could want because you've got uh, great, just great protected outdoor space. Mm -hmm. It's not covered, but you've got good protection there from direct sun. Uh, you've got fire feature there. Um, there is... Uh, uh, that actually has a yeah. fire feature, has seating, and then this is, um, there's one more picture in there that shows all of the, the fire feature and the fountain. That's a great picture, um, if we can get that one up. Mm -hmm. there, there it is, go. yeah. And this is actually inside of that courtyard, which is a really good configuration. One of the other things, too, is that they have renderings that will actually show you the way the pool sits um, or just around to the side. So if you're looking for a house that is one of a kind, um, 80 Vanguard Way mm -hmm. is the one for you. Yep, and this one's priced at a million one a million one nineteen, and that comes in at about three hundred and thirteen a square foot. Uh, you do have some HOA fees here annually that run about thirteen hundred a year, but uh, it is a, you know a really a great value for that neighborhood. Uh, and we want to say thank you to Ryan Strife and Jason Bates for letting us talk about his home. That's a great home. So if you'd like any more information. You know how to get in touch with us. And the next one that we're going to look at is going to be 6622 Hillwood Lane. And this is up in just north of 635. Mm -hmm. It is Dallas, but it does get Richardson Independent School District. Yes, that is correct. And this is a really a great neighborhood that's centrally centrally located for that uh, you know, that kind of North Dallas area. Uh, you've got great access to the, the tollway. Uh, you don't see it on the map here, but uh, Highway 75 to the, the west and east of there is not very far away. And then uh, Spring Valley, you know, Spring Valley really goes from almost from one side of the Metroplex to the other. And so you've got great east-west connections. So if you work out toward DFW, if you work toward downtown, um, it's not one of those areas that you're going to get really pigeonholed with traffic yeah. in. You've got a lot of options. Uh, this is also right down the street from Hillwood Park, which is a great city of Dallas park. Um, it's right around the corner from Prestonwood Elementary, and uh, which is the elementary school for this uh, for this home. And again, it's Richardson School, so you know it is a very, very well-loved and accredited uh, network of schools. And probably just with the way that it actually flows so well east to west, this could actually go from TI, State Farm Campus, and then all the way to Las Colinas and mm -hmm. probably not have, miss a beat with Absolutely. that. Plus being a really good school district. Yep. So if this is something that you're looking for. And this is one of the homes that I thought really has done a renovation quite well. So we get the symmetrical symmetry of this home with the vaulted ceilings. I love that it has the double front door and these floors are the large planks and they've done a really good job of not going too gray through this entire house mm -hmm. and really kind of keeping it light and bright. Mm -hmm. It's got a great floor plan. It is one of the things that, that really stood out to me about this home is the the room sizes in the, in the family rooms are so generous. I mean, yep. the, the living room, you could put a, a table for, you know, 12 people in that dining room and still have room to, to put, you know, any kind of buffets or whatever other ancillary furniture you need. Living rooms are very much the same way. It's it's almost big enough that you could create, you know, a, a area for TV viewing and another area that might be your little conversation pit or uh, it's just very, very flexible space. And again, it's got that open, you know, kitchen that's open to the uh, open to the living areas that so many people are looking for right now. And this is a good shot of what the kitchen is an amazing, really oversized island that really has become popular these days. One of the things that they also did is they went with the leather finish on the uh, countertops. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of really, adds to the really whole thing. Nice, yeah. It is great. Uh, this floor plan, we're going to say this is shaped like a U, and there's an image, I believe, of the actual floor plan. And this makes it great because you actually kind of have this kind of enclosed little area that can be great. Mm -hmm, little um, central courtyard. Yep. And it also opens up off the master. Mm -hmm. So the master's at the back of the house here, and the other two bedrooms and bathroom are at the front of and the house. And it's got a huge tree right there. Yeah. So it's, you know, the entire area there's going to just have this magnificent shade. And this is a really... Again, I'm going to say it again. It's a great example of what today's buyers are looking for as mm -hmm. far as a renovation. Mm -hmm. It's not too gray. Mm -hmm. It's not too white. It seems like the rooms have enough space. Yep. So if you're looking for something that has a really strong feel, um, this would be one of the ones that I would really lean into. Mm -hmm. It is priced at 575000 and that brings us in at 
228.45 a foot. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to say thank you to Beth Masick for letting us talk about her home today. Yep, great homes. So if you have any information or questions about homes that you saw here or homes that you saw on your own searches, mm -hmm. let us know. We'd love to hear what you're thinking about. Yep, and certainly go to our website and do some searching and you know find your next dream home there. There you go. Yeah. So we've got a really interesting set, second segment um, set for today, and I'm going to go ahead and let Jeff kind of give us a little run through of what we're going to hear. Well, I had the honor of sitting down and talking to the new CEO of Dave Perry Miller, Ebby Halliday, and Williams True, um, Chris Kelly. Chris Kelly, uh, as, as many of you know, Ebby Halliday Company was purchased a few, a few months ago, several months ago, by... Uh, the uh, Ber Berkshire Hathaway, which is Home Services of America. And uh, the Chris Kelly was brought in five months ago to run our companies. And it is, it's just been such a, uh, I think just, we've been so excited watching him. And so I, I took a few minutes to sit down and chat with him and here it is. Hi everybody, welcome to our second segment today. I have the honor of interviewing and talking to Chris Kelly, who is the new CEO of Dave Perry Miller, Ebby Halliday, and Williams True Real Estate Company here in North Texas. Chris, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So, Chris, you've been here uh, for, what, th three months now? Actually going on five, but it's oh. been a whirlwind. It feels like five weeks, but it's actually been about five months. Yeah, that's great. Um, what, do you, what do you think of North Texas? I love it. And, you know, it's really interesting. I've always kind of joked that about a third of Iowa moves to Kansas City and then a third of Kansas City moves to North Texas mm -hmm. over the years. So we're kind of getting on the train down here. Um, we have family down here. We've had so many friends over the years that have already moved to North Texas. So it was a very comfortable move to make, mm -hmm. um, having people that we've already known here and been coming here over the years as well, too, and stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's been awesome. It's that's, a great market. That's great. And, I, you know, I have to tell you that Weston and I are so excited about you being part of the leadership team here because um, it you know, from the moment that it was announced that you were coming in, it feels like you've kind of grabbed the bulls by the horn and, you know, you've looked at the bull and you've heard from the bull, but, you know, you're moving forward. And, um, you know, Ebby has built such a, a great legacy here with her right. company. Uh, it, it's got to be, you know, I, I'm going to use the word intimidating. Yeah. To come into yeah. That. I, it's a great word. And it, and it certainly was because we have this great legacy. We have this amazing brand that is connected to an individual who means so much to our marketplace. But I was just talking to some folks last week and I said, you know, the, I guess the probably the way that you really honor that legacy is by continuing to change and evolve because when Ebby got into real estate, it wasn't just to keep doing things the same way. Mm -hmm. I mean, she really changed real estate really? when she got into it. I mean, she was a woman coming into a man's world and really kind of took over and changed the way that we, we do things, not just in our marketplace, but really kind of across the country. And so I think the way you do that is you continue to look for ways to evolve and get better because that's what she did. And I think that's what we want to do is within all of our brands from Dave Perry Miller, Evie Williams True is, is how do we get better? And so one of my, my goals when I first started was um, I'm not going to just guess on my own, what is it we need to be working on? And so I really wanted to, within the first couple months, get out to all 33 offices and meet with all of you and listen, what do we need to be working on? What, what's, what's working? What can we be doing better? And so that was a great experience, which has largely fueled the last few months of the things that we've been trying to work on and get better at. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, the, 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 I guess the strength that you're, you're coming in with really shows. And, you know, one, one of the things that I think is uh, cool to us as agents is, you know, we're, we're seeing you bring people in that are, are, you know, great in their jobs from the corporate world. Like right. Anthony Jackson, yeah. the, the new VP of finance. But you're also tapping some of that long time leadership knowledge that we have here, like with people like Carolyn Rawson. Yeah. And it, you know, and elevating them in, into those positions that, uh, you know, we feel like there's, there's uh, a structure not that there wasn't before, sure. but it's just a, it's a, a different structure that we feel is going to help us grow that much faster. Yeah, we, we have an amazing team here already. And when you identify talent, you're exactly right. What you want to do is, well, how can I spread that even farther? How do I help these great people make other people great as well? Mm -hmm. And so between Carolyn and Melinda and their regional roles, that's certainly one of the things we're striving to do. Anthony, coming from one of our sister companies in Fresno, um, was another great addition. Um, this week, Catherine Sims, who's been with our lending company for, for over a decade, we announced as our new vice president of core services. Mm -hmm. And so kind of pr expanding her role out to everything that we offer. And so you're exactly right. It's like you want to find great, passionate, high energy, talented folks and then say, what can we be doing more with them? Right. Um, so that's that's what we're trying to do for sure. How do how do you see that 
uh, rolling down to, you know, obviously our, our focus is really our customers and clients yeah. and people that we work with. How do you see the these changes affecting that? Yeah, I think from a structure standpoint, the, the, the mission is is that, you know, we're kind of here to serve you in Weston so that you guys can better serve your clients. And so that's listening to you, that's providing support, sometimes directly to you, but sometimes, like let's say in the role of Carolyn, it's she's helping support your leaders in the offices mm-hmm. as well too within the Dave Perry Miller brand. And so um, the more support we can provide so that frees up other people to be working on the things that actually help you on a day-to-day basis, mm-hmm. service more clients, that's what we're trying to do for sure, is, is, is provide more support to you so you can in turn do more for the client. That's great. Well, it's, you know, we're, we're so excited to have a, a, a company like Home Services of America and, you know, certainly the name of Warren Buffett yeah. behind us because, yeah. you know, as, as, uh, as I think even a lot of consumers in the marketplace, you know, wondered for many years, well, what's going to happen? Right. And I, the, the day that all of this information came out, it just was... There, I think there was this big sigh of relief. Sure. That, okay, the legacy is going to remain. Yeah. You know, and the, the things that you're doing now with the Abby Halliday uh, uh, original office and yeah. her home, uh, talk a little bit about that because I think that's so exciting. Yeah. So so one of the things, obviously, the the iconic little white house right there, and then the residence there is, you know, one of the one of the things that happened when Home Services uh, folded in the Abby Halliday companies, including including Dave Perry Miller was they helped create that uh, Ebby Holiday Foundation and, and, and started it with a really nice uh, a funding insert into that to kind of help it get off the grounds. And so one of the things we're working on right now is to preserve that little corner as a historical site um, and so that we can kind of keep that, uh, that, uh, that iconic area in place. The residents can be used for charitable purposes and other things as well over the years from all kinds of different organizations because the foundation wants to continue what the company was always doing, which was really servicing the needs of the community. Um, and sometimes it's very specific things like the Abbey Holiday uh, Elementary School, uh, Wings. Uh, th- there's all kinds of things they've supported, and this will kind of help continue that. And, you know, to your point about home services, one of the things that are, I've always loved about this organization, I've been part of it for 12 years, is that almost any other real estate company, when they acquire a brand to come in, it's typically like, okay, this is what you were. Mm-hmm. We're going to wipe that off the table, and now you fly this new flag. Mm-hmm. And with home services, it's uh, recognizing there these brands have equity to them. So when you come into a, a market like here, and you look at like a brand like Dave Perry Miller, I mean, you and Weston have spent a lot of time, and as with as uh, the other agents have too, is building that brand to mean something in in that area of town. And so to just get rid of it and say, well, now we're X Y Z brokerage mm-hmm. would be crazy. And so I love the fact that home services recognizes that and allows our companies to still retain that identity Mm -hmm. that we've always had in the marketplace, but then have the advantages of getting everything that comes with being part Mm -hmm. of Home Services and Berkshire Hathaway. We're really excited about the the technology changes that we're beginning to see because we do see how that's going to directly affect our clients and customers and be able to provide information so much faster to them and with so much clarity. Um, You know, I'm the technology geek in our group. Love it. it. seeing, you know, I was standing in a sales meeting one day and, and Jamie said, so, you know, if you had everything in the world to pick from, what would you want to do with that? And I said, you know, if there is the, there's this platform where we could bring all of this web information together and be able to combine all of that and, and be able to share with clients in one type of report, you know, here's, here's all the traffic you've got from our website, mm-hmm. here's all the traffic you got from this website. You know that's great, and I understand that that's part of the new system that that we're about to get. Yes, and so you know, obviously, there's several ways to go about it. And so, what, as a, as home services as a company, what we changed a little bit 18 months ago was we actually acquired a company down in Austin that um, is a technology company in the real estate field, and really have, have, have grown that to kind of start being the backbone of everything that we'll do going forward in the future from a consumer facing perspective, and some of your and some great. of the agent tools as well. And so, but you know. There's also great other partners out there in the vendor space that are doing great that we want to partner with as well. So, like, mm-hmm. you don't have to take this, we're building it all ourselves in-house mm-hmm. or we're exclusively just working with third parties. There's a, there's a blend there that I think actually works best. And so, you know, right now we have some availability of, t- of tools like uh, Lucid Press, for example, is because everything I know that you do and Weston do right now is like it, it's speed to market, mm-hmm. right? So if a client signs the paperwork, they want to see everything online the super fast. The be up before we walk out Exactly the <laughs> right. And they want to see social media presence really fast. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, Remington and his team have done such an amazing job of introducing those tools. Like Lucid Press is an example of one of those where, you know, very quickly now we can take those images and turn them into collateral that can be splashed across, you know, social media or, you know, flyers, whatever it might be. 
Um, so that's one tool and functionality and stuff. And then improve CRMs, improve CMAs with some of our third party partners. And then the technology in-house that I was referring to, um, we kind of call it Merlin. Mm -hmm. And a little bit about what Merlin does is it's kind of that intuitive learning. And so as we migrate onto the Merlin platform uh, in the future, what will happen is as a client is using your website, uh, Merlin is learning about them. Just as if you logged on to your Amazon account and I mm -hmm. logged on to mine, I'm presuming you have an Amazon yeah. account like everyone else <laughs> in the world. But if you logged into it, yours would look different than mine because it's learned what you do versus what I do. And so it's the same kind of experience. So as your consumer was logging onto your site, if that person was always looking at kitchens, it's going to learn. It's going to say, I'm going to start serving up more of this mm -hmm. versus someone else who's always looking at yard space, for example. And so um, that intuitive learning and then on the back end of kind of learning about what they want so it can deliver that product. And then you get on the backside too more information so that you can better serve and anticipate the needs of your mm -hmm. clients. Because that's what we're really trying to do is exactly before they even ask the question, we're serving up what they're looking for. Right. And so that's where we're all migrating to in the future, which is going to be really, really fun and exciting. That is exciting. I'm really happy to hear about that and, and get to experience as it begins to roll out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate your time today. It, it's been, you know, great to sit down and talk to you one on one. I have heard you speak a dozen times or so, and it's usually in a big you know, group as you've tried to get across yeah. all 35 yeah. offices. Yeah. And, and then I'm just doing it over again. Everyone's like, well, once you're done, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to start it all over again. again. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming on our show today. Yeah. Thank you for spending the time with us. And uh, we look forward to working with you into the future. I'm super excited. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I yeah, appreciate it. What a great video. And we hope that you found it as interesting as we did. It was really, uh, a uh, it was just kind of one of those career moments to get to sit down and talk to somebody that you know is uh, really moving things forward and still is attentive to the legacy that Abby Halliday has created with with all of her all of our companies. And the deal is, is if you think about it, he's only been here for four months and he mm -hmm. already has this book of knowledge of us mm -hmm. and this great entire concept and philosophy of what real estate is going to become here yep. in Dallas. Yep. So we've really we really enjoyed it. Chris, thank you so much for the time. So. All right. I guess that's a wrap for this week. Yeah. Um, we'll see you next week at the same time. Mm -hmm. Jeff, you want to close us out? I sure do. So thank you very much for tuning in today. There's lots of ways for you to reach out to us. Uh, certainly follow us on our Facebook page. Uh, we try to keep you up with, you know, just some things that are going on there. We have an Instagram account as if you haven't seen uh, <laughs> lots of pictures of our houses and things that we're doing. Uh, you can also reach us on our website, which is updikepew.com. Go there and sign up for searches. You can look for specific properties, a lot of detailed information. And then last of all, homeprice.fyi. If you want a value of a home that uh, is out there right now, put the address in, put a couple of pieces of info in, you'll instantly get a property value for that. And last of all, reach out to us with a phone call or with text. Uh, 214-377-2223 is the best way to reach both of us instantly. So tune in next week and we'll see you. And remember, we want to be your realtors for life.